Atlanta United Fan TV here at the 2018 MLS All-Star Game in Atlanta at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We uh, unfortunately lost uh, on penalties to Juve, but uh, I think, you know, Joseph Martinez deservingly with the MVP, and, uh, you know, he put the, the city on his back, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, honestly, all I wanted to see was him score, and he did. So, scored 30 minutes out, not hurt, ready for Saturday. Happy camper, I'm, I'm happy. It was a great occasion. I mean, they did a great job. There were so many things, like, production-wise, giving everyone these wristbands. That was really, really cool. You know, projecting some stuff on the field. It was all really, really well done. I mean, and honestly, it was a good game. I mean, obviously, the MLS, they're halfway through their season, so they're all match fit. They're all firing. Juve, it's their preseason. They're just trying to get some fitness built up. But... You saw, you know, there is some quality in MLS. You know, I think that's one of the better all-star teams, if not the best they've ever had. And they've played really, really well against a good team, um, you know, preseason or not. You know, I think they, they did MLS proud. And, again, yeah, it was, it was awesome to see Joseph score a goal and throw himself in. Even though it was a friendly, he wanted to get that goal. So it, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun to watch. And penalties when you're not really invested in it, when it's stress-free, a whole lot better. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, I actually was okay seeing Stefan lose a, a penalty uh, shootout. So, yeah. Yeah, it didn't bother me. I mean, I tweeted right before it happened. I figured that Juve might be in trouble because of his uh, penalty heroics in this building before. But if it comes down to that again, hopefully he, uh, you know, doesn't save any. That'd be that'd be preferable. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, you know, I think one part of me was hoping that Tata would leave Jovinko in for, like, the, the rest of the game. But uh. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was pretty clear that everyone's kind of getting, like, those 30-minute chump, like, chunks. And a couple of the guys got 45. I think uh, Vela got 45 and everything. But... No, it wasn't exciting. I wish there could have been, you know, a goal scored on, on the, you know, supporter side half. But we got the penalty, so I guess it all worked out. But it was still, it was still fun, and, uh, yeah, it was it was good. Yeah, yeah. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, it, it seemed like all our, uh, you know, in terms of maybe not enemies, but, you know, our antagonists to us uh, didn't really do all that well, right? In terms of, like, Vela, who uh, won the captainship over Parkers, pretty much anonymous, uh, Yotun, uh, misses a, a sitter, I think, uh, of a <laughs> of a free kick, I think, um, and uh, yeah, BWP misses that penalty. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call it a free kick a sitter, but yeah, I mean, all in all, none of them really did that well. Um, Vela had a one chance in the first half where he could have released Miggy and let Miggy run, but he held onto the ball, and that was really frustrating to see because Miggy probably could have done something with it. Um, yeah, I mean, they didn't really do too much at the same time. I mean, Vela saw some nice tricks and stuff in there. I think Valeri was a guy that I really enjoyed watching. He's he's really really good. Um, you know, there, there's, there's some really talented players in there, and, and it was good to watch. And I thought, you know, the guys that were out there to start the game, they did pretty, pretty well. I mean, they controlled the ball the first 10 minutes. They, they managed to keep possession against a good Juve team that prides itself on defense. And, yeah, I was impressed with them, and, and you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a good occasion, and honestly, Atlanta should consider itself very proud. I think they set another standard here. Highest attended game, the production level, everything that's going on around this, you know, the city, the festivals, the concerts, all of that. Just looks like just phenomenally well done by the team, by the city, and you know I think it shows not just how much soccer is growing, you know, in in America, but how important it is here to Atlanta, where you know people said they would never succeed, and I think it's doing pretty well right now. Definitely, definitely. Uh, well, yeah. So speaking of some of the higher ups, uh, uh, it was a little sad to see Uncle Arthur being cut off during the uh, the Golden yeah, Spike thing. That was odd. In there, I think he took too long after he hit it the first time, and it threw everything off, maybe. But, yeah, they kind of cut Uncle Arthur off there. I thought him and be a little bit salty, but, nah, I'm yeah. just kidding. I don't think he really cares too much or if he knows what's going on, to be fair. But it was still cool to see him up there and still have a golden spike even when it's an all-star game. I think a lot of people who aren't from Atlanta who came here, I don't – just to said it was as loud as an MLS game, I don't think it was. Usually, obviously, when it's a full MLS game, we, we get more chants and songs and you got the drums going and the flags going. But, you know, I think people here, you know, who came who aren't from here, from either from Italy or from other, you know, cities in MLS – they got a taste of what Atlanta has to offer. I think a lot of them really enjoyed it. They got to experience a Joseph headed goal. You know, that's that's a classic right there. And they got to hear a reaction that that, that really, you know, supported it. And there were a few times where songs got going in there, but it was, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, again, I, I think everything just went off perfectly well. And we set a standard, and everyone can, you know, enjoy being miserable in Orlando next season when it, when it goes to a small stadium. And, uh, you know, you know I'm, I, I jest. But still, I don't think anything can match what, what was done over here over the last few days. Atlanta! 